we are doing some freeze dried onions and we are gonna try to saute them, right? So we have our freeze dried onions here and we're gonna just put some butter in and we're gonna saute them and we're gonna see how they work with uh, coming back to their moisture on them. So just heating up our pan here. Do you wanna mix that around? Mm -hmm. Wanna get it nice and hot? I only wanted to help. I don't like onions. You're not gonna taste test onions is what you're telling me. Do you want to pour just a little bit? Just sprinkle some of that on the butter. So I'm curious if we can just do butter, whether we have to add any moisture to them or not. We'll just do a few more in there just to really get it. So I'm going to put a little bit of salt on this. Oh, you can tell this one. Is this starting to come together well? I'm going to watch them turn brown and crispy. Mm -hmm. So it's looking like... We're going to put some milk in it. Uh, not in the onions. This is just butter, onions, and salt. Starting to get brown. Crispy. Mm -hmm. Every time I onion, I'm going to let them get nice and brown and mm -hmm. crispy. And they'll get nice and yummy for you. Okay, perfect. I like crispy onions. Where's this going to mm. reach? Just going to melt that right there. Okay. Right. Melt, melt those. Let melt that butter with those onions. So we might try one with just the butter and then I might actually try one with the water afterwards just to see the difference. Cause these are definitely like becoming a little bit more crispy brown, which could be interesting. Um, try to. They should be all nice and covered now. Okay, let's see what we got going here. But we're not gonna take them out yet until they all turn nice and crispy brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are feeling nice and soft. So I think they just kind of browned a little faster because they end up cooking before the moisture gets to them. That's what we got. Just butter, just butter and uh, onion. Can I? So you definitely want to be careful, I think, not to burn them. So let's put these in our bowl here. So now I'm just going to put in a little bit of water and try and see the difference between okay, pouring our onions in there quick. My hands are just like bubbling really good. Okay, we got them all. Okay, so those are rehydrating really fast. And then once we get the water kind of cooked off, we're going to try adding some butter. Okay, so I'm just putting some salt on these. Okay, and then throw in our butter there on you. It's a triangle. Can I do okay. it? You stir them up good. Let's get them coated with some butter and then they should be ready. Good job. Whew, that was almost too much butter. Yeah, so these definitely like hydrating them first and then putting the butter in is making them so that they um, don't brown. Not quite as crispy. Here, on the one side, the browner side is just freeze dried onion with butter. And the other side is when we put the water in, rehydrated them and then added the butter. So it's kind of interesting because you can see this is, this almost kind of, um, they look a little bit more like a breadcrumb or something. So this can make a really, really nice, mm -hmm, that's good. That can make a really nice topping or something on a casserole or something. Okay, so those are two different ways to do our onions. The next one we're gonna do, we're gonna experiment with um, basic cream of mushroom soup. So if you're interested in seeing that, check us out in the next video.